Welcome to the Post Purchase Pro Podcast. This is the only podcast that dives deep into post purchase marketing to help Amazon sellers increase sales, ranking, reviews, and profits. It's everything that happens after the initial sale that makes a difference. We call this the back end. Sean would back in indeed. <laughs> Sean would have to jump out there in front of everybody. Back in like 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013 again, where Amazon's growing at 100% a year. I mean, that is the golden days. But guess what, Sean? Even though the golden days are gone on Amazon, it's still growing at 30% a year, but there are platforms like we're going to talk about today still doubling in size every single year. I'm stoked to talk about it. Let's bring on our special guest, Mr. David Milstein, co-founder of Cellcore. David, let's talk about these platforms out there, specifically walmart.com that is growing at 100% a year. That's crazy. David, tell us about it. Insane. Insane. So much opportunity, kind of like you mentioned it, the golden years of the platform. I think one of the main differences between Amazon and Walmart is Walmart's going to be able to achieve the current status much, much faster than Amazon did. Amazon was the pioneer in the space, really took a little bit of time to get there. Uh, people still kind of navigating the dot-com marketplaces, shopping there. Walmart doesn't have to do that. Walmart doesn't have to sell anyone on this on this whole dot-com process. They just have to be like, hey, we're also here. You got Amazon, you got us. We offer home delivery for your products. We offer pickup in store. Some things which Amazon just can't offer. You know, they got stores everywhere, 50 miles of every American. That's yeah. crazy. So it's really a great time for right now. Just jump into the marketplace. See that year-over-year growth. Just That's just 100% year-over-year growth for the platform as a whole. You can imagine as a seller who's actually taking the time to optimize their listings. We've seen accounts grow literally thousands of percent. We brought account in from $2,000 a month, $50,000 a month, even more. We've had many six-figure, seven-figure sellers. It's It's been a crazy experience, and it's really the wow. fastest growing platform in e-commerce. Well, thanks for joining us today, David. Ladies and gentlemen and listeners of the Post Purchase Podcast, Fasten your XL seatbelts because today's guest is none other than David Milstein, the co-founder of Cellcord. David's love for spreadsheets is so intense, Seth and I are convinced that he literally dreams in Excel formulas. No joke. This guy is such a freak in the spreadsheets, self-proclaimed, that he makes pivot tables seem as exciting as a Marvel movie climax. I don't watch many Marvel movies, but David's not just about sales and rows. He's on a mission to help Amazon sellers, just like you, diversify faster than a chameleon on a rainbow, nudging them to also rock the shelves of walmart.com. So grab your X lookup snacks and your index max drinks, because folks, this episode promises to be more thrilling than finding that hidden XL Easter egg you never knew about. David, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Sean. Wow, really great. Great intro. Fantastic. <laughs> so, David, um, we had a conversation with one of our Amazon seller clients the other day, and one of the things that shocked me was they're doing about $2 million a year on Amazon, which is good, right? But the, the thing that blew my mind was that they were doing $8 million a year on Walmart.com. So, I mean, that really shows the power of what's going on here. And, and the way I look at Walmart.com, and, and I'm, I know we're going to get into it, is it's like the uh, the early days of Amazon where not everyone's sophisticated yet. N no one knows all the right levers to pull. You don't have quite as much um, competition and not all the big players are there yet. So you can step in and you can eat up a lot of that growth while it's easy and position yourself for long-term success. So David, what are you seeing um, from a typical Amazon seller who decides, hey, I'm going to also jump into this, this walmart.com game what are you seeing in terms of sales growth, profit growth? What happens when a business goes from strictly Amazon to including Walmart? Definitely. So uh, this is probably like the number one question we get asked from Amazon sellers. What am I expected to make on Walmart? So we say comparatively, you should be doing about 20% of your revenue uh, from Amazon to Walmart. And if you're, you know, mid seven figure sellers, that could be another, another seven figure platform for you. Now you did mention this use case where you had a guy doing 2 million on Amazon and 8 million on Walmart. That's not uncommon either. You know, you have on Amazon, a lot of the really big products are really saturated. So you might even list your products over there and have a difficult time getting in. And maybe your more niche products sell well, but the search volume just isn't there. Versus on Walmart, you put your generic products up and you kill because that's what Walmart's looking for these days. And I'm sure we'll get into that a little bit more in the podcast. But there's so much opportunity for generic products that you might find a product that you might think will sell well. Maybe on your website, it sells well, but Amazon's so hard to rank. 
but Walmart kills. So there's definitely strategies about like what types of products you want to list on, on Walmart compared to that of Amazon. Typically, I would say share your catalog, but what fo- what products do you want to focus on? What products do you want to push ads on? There's definitely a lot of, a lot of information and different ways to approach that. But as a whole, Walmart is growing at a, such an insane rate that just listing your products you will have at the begin, probably about 10 to 20% of your Amazon sales and only grow from there. <laughs> well, David, I, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm working on the road, so I had to uh, set up my virtual background here like you. So you're not just young and handsome. You're also brilliant. So tell me in simple terms, what do you think or what do you see in your experience and, and your personal observation? What is the correlation for between Amazon product being successful and taking that to Walmart? Is that like 100% across the board, 80%? If I have a successful product on Amazon, what are the chances of that product also being successful on Walmart? Sure. So I definitely see it in the very high percentages. However, I'll give you some strategies about how to go about it. I believe there's a, a evolution for how the marketplace works. In the beginning, the branded products tend to do the best. You know, you're selling your Dove soap. That stuff sells like fire because everyone knows the brand. Then it transitions to more of a generic private label. You know, you have some branded products and Amazon brand. You know, you never heard of it before outside, but then you come on Amazon, it's now massive, even spreading outside of Amazon. And then you get into the more niche products, the premium products, the products that kind of have a little bit, oh, this is a unique thing and it's got this feature on it, that feature on it. I feel like that's the evolution of the marketplace. Like right now launching on Amazon, it's harder to launch some of the more standard, you say a garlic press is impossible to launch. You know, you might have to have a special <laughs> garlic press that's three in one. Got to talk to Aaron Cordova about that one. Exactly, exactly. There's, there's, so, there's so many like different ways to go about launching these cool specialized products on Amazon versus Walmart. It's more about, it's still in the beginning <clears throat> stages of the evolution. You know, you still have a lot of branded products. I find the brand of pro- branded accounts tend to do the largest in terms of sales today. But, and then it's kind of right now in the transition stage into the more generic brand, like standard private label products. But it's not yet in the niche premium products yet. So let's say you have somebody selling this specialized supplement that has a bunch of different, you know, like plants in it and herbs that you don't have in your standard, let's say melatonin that has all these features, but it's an extra 50% markup. You're going to have a harder time selling that on Walmart. So focus your strategies on the more generic products, but I will say this, it's part of the evolution. It's in it. We've seen it with Amazon. We're going to see it with Walmart. We've been seeing it a little bit with Walmart, but the search volume just isn't quite there yet. So definitely focus on the big, the big name items. And even like the things that you would think on Amazon don't even have a chance. <clears throat> Because of how saturated it is, those products actually really do well on Walmart. But I would say every product on Amazon that succeeds will eventually succeed on Walmart. I would say it's really important to look at competitors. Take your main keyword, put it into Walmart. If you see the top listing has zero reviews, you're probably not going to have a lot of competition over there and really not much sales because clearly no one else put in the effort. Maybe you could, I, I say it's still worth it, get in there, snag the top spot. So that in the year or two, when it does become a popular keyword, you were there first and you don't have to fight with the competitors like people are doing on Amazon right now, but maybe don't spend in or send in too much inventory to Walmart fulfillment or don't push too much ads because you might not see any return over there. Definitely focus on the products that you look it up. And I would say it's very difficult. This is actually pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool uh, uh, thing if you want to try out for Walmart. Look up a keyword. Give me five keywords that you can look it up and you scroll to the bottom and there's not a single listing that has zero reviews. I'm sure there's every keyword you scroll on Walmart has at least one listing on the front page that has zero reviews. It's pretty cool. You know, it just shows you the opportunity that does exist on the platform. So David, um, that kind of begs the question. I'm an Amazon seller selling products on Amazon and I'm thinking to myself, what, you know, what should I do here? So let me, let me ask you, David, what is the first thing I should do when I'm approaching Amazon, or if you want to flip it around, what are the handful of things that I should avoid doing to make the same mistakes that you're selling, seeing sellers make every day? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the the mistakes is they're rampant. You know, people people think of Walmart as like a secondary marketplace that doesn't really need the attention. And they're just like, yeah, I do well on Amazon. Of course, I'm going to do well on Walmart. Why shouldn't I do well? Like they just copy and paste their listings over, give zero effort, maybe do some ads rely on seller fulfillment so it's not even having the two-day shipping badge and they're like oh what's what the heck at walmart sucks you know i'm not seeing any sales it's like no nah, man you got it your <laughs> listing sucks you gotta you gotta figure out your account first 
get your listings optimized. Put in the effort. I find this is the number one mistake that Walmart sellers make is they don't put in the effort. And I can just tell you from experience, we've done tens of thousands of listings. When you put in the effort, you see the results 100%. Even without ads, you've seen so many listings that you just optimize it. You set up the copy the way Walmart wants you to do it. You, you fill in your attributes. You know, people are leaving attributes off the table. It plays such an important role with algorithm. The algorithm on Amazon is very different than the algorithm on Walmart. There's some general things that they do match on, like how the ranking works is typically based on conversion rate, not necessarily impressions or clicks. So there are things that do share, but let's say the search the search process, you know, what how the keywords are are, are structured in the algorithm. Amazon likes and they favor long, long titles, you know, with like 50 keywords just stuffed in the title and it's like impossible to read. Walmart hates okay. that. They give you a listing score. They remove points from you if your listing title is too long. They want it to be concise. So just pay attention. Walmart actually helps you with this. Walmart gives you what's called a listing quality score where they give you information. Like this is how long your title should be. And they'll give you notes too long. You know, include the brand name, include this and that. Like they tell you what's missing from your title. It's all okay. obviously like AI and they get have that information. But it's it's really useful for new sellers coming in. If you just go and spend time looking through your listing scores and reading through their recommendations, that itself can help you drastically to succeed. So, David, that brings up another point. In your experience, uh, what is the, the most common challenges besides uh, these listing differences that Amazon sellers face when they decide to expand to Walmart? And how can Cellcord help that? Definitely. So because of Walmart kind of just recently – caring i would say you know walmart's i would say definitely with only the past two years really put an effort into their dot-com side of things and marketplace you know they only only in the past let's say four or five years did they even have a platform to launch your listings like you have to previously use third-party apps that only integrated via api it was only recently that they have a seller center where you could go in and do your thing so and even more so only in the past couple of years did they roll out wfs which is a competitor to fba what, what am i getting at is that walmart had a lot of black hat tactics that people were using and there was there were a lot of these sellers there was actually whole businesses around drop shipping from amazon to walmart there were accounts that had millions of listings that would just scrape amazon find a product let's say selling for 25 dollars, and sell it on walmart for 30 dollars, pocket the difference mm -hmm. and then ship it and fulfill it directly from amazon now Perfect. that's not a big deal but what happens is these tools uploaded the listings to walmart and when you come in now as your brand and you want to sell your listing, you often are faced with content rights where someone else listed your listing first. You have this garbage title, images in like a one by one pixel resolution. It just looks like trash. Your description is completely wonky. You're just having a, a wrong attributes filled in because people were using these trash scrapers just to list that. There was more of a, of, a, of a quantity for them and quality by far. We've seen cases where it says coming soon as a title, coming soon as a picture. And like these are legitimate products that people are trying to sell for the brand. So you have to fight with Walmart <laughs> to win that. There is brand portal registration, which is something that we recommend, but there, you really have to just win in cases. And cases with Walmart is it's tough. You know, you gotta follow up with your cases, you gotta <coughs> get for that stuff. So that's just that's just one of the factors that many Amazon sellers will see when they come to Walmart. They're like, and it's kind of, I understand in a sense, a lot, a lot of the customers that we deal with kind of have this frustration with Walmart. They're like, I, I'm coming to Walmart. You know, I had a hard time applying. Many, many sellers, I'm sure, having difficulties with applying and getting their account. They're like, Walmart doesn't want me. Walmart's got content rights. I can't even fix up my listings. They kind of just be like, leave, like, forget it. I'm not even going to give Walmart a chance. And that's kind of a, the mistake there. You know, you want to make sure that, yeah, maybe it's frustrating to go through some of these compliance issues to begin. But once you get in the flow of things and you see sales come in, I'm telling you that uh, that will be a much happier point in your Walmart journey. Amazing. So, David, what does – I know you're the co-founder there, so you should know better than anybody. What does Cellcord actually do to make this make this all happen? Right. So I'll just give you a, like a recap of like what, what services do we offer. We like to be ahead of the game in everything Walmart-related. We're full-service Walmart agency, which is – from listing optimization, which is taking your Amazon listings, writing brand new copy specific to Walmart, making sure you're categorized correctly. Categories is a really big role. I didn't speak about this yet. There's different categories that you need to audit. There's a category path product type, which determines which keywords you're able to rank for. If you're in the wrong one, your product literally can't rank properly. 
So we audit that, we fill in the correct attributes, even ones that are not recommended, just ones that we know will affect your discoverability. Making your listing perfect to Excel, to work well on Walmart. This includes, let's say, variation fixes, getting your content rights, working with any compliance issues if a listing is down. Once the listing is properly set up, we move into advertising. We have teams that have managed millions and millions in Walmart ad spend and know what they're doing in terms of how to properly build campaigns, depending on the category, and so much more. That's just the core of what we do, which is optimization and management. We also offer a myriad of other services from rich media hosting, which is A-plus content, which unlike Amazon, is not native in the platform. You have to go through a third-party service provider. We are one of those service providers. We host videos, EBC, comparison charts, FAQs, and more. We also offer this some- This is tools. amazing. Yeah, there's, there's so much. I mean, like- like I get sick of hearing about these tools, David, and we have like 400 <laughs> partners in the space. And it seems like everybody and his brother's got a tool that just scrapes and auto posts. But yeah. I think what you're doing is an all-encompassing, full-service service. So I can't wait to get the word out about that. Before we transition into the fun part of our program, would you care to share a, a case study, um, a recent case study or a win? You don't have to give any names or specific product brands, but tell me what you've done and how that's, uh, how that's worked out for a client, and then we'll transition. Definitely. So we're working with a beauty brand already for a little over a year that – they do most of their sales outside of actually Amazon and uh, Walmart. Most of their sales are coming from retail as well as a strong dot-com presence. Um, they've been on Amazon for a number of years already and have done really well over there. And they just start to get into the Walmart game. When they first joined us, they had so many listings that had content rights. They had people selling wrong UPCs. We worked on helping them remove all these fake sellers, taking over their existing listings. And we brought them from literally doing no money a month to just crossing 60000 a month last month. In sales, you know, we're, we're clearly on a quick track to becoming a seven figure seller for them. And these are products that are doing, these are $7 products. These aren't even like 30, $50 products where that, where that's only a few units. This product, this company sells thousands of units They have multiple units that are selling over a thousand a month, which is really fantastical. Not really something you see so frequently on Walmart, but this is a name you might not be so familiar with. But they're just able to be there. They're number one ranked for some of the hottest keywords that I know in a couple of years, these products are going to be doing hundreds a day. You know, it's it's a much stronger marketplace in the future. So I can't wait for them. It's just been a really, a really great time moving this brand into this marketplace. That's amazing, David. So you're a great entrepreneur, obviously. You've been around the, the game for a while. We always like to ask a couple of fun questions at the end. The first one that I want to ask you, just because I'm curious, is... What is your all-time favorite business book? Oh man, you're you're hitting me with the wrong question right there for me. I I <laughs> how about as, business spreadsheet? <laughs> <laughs> as much as I seem like I do, I am really not a big reader. I know it's crazy. So many people in the space like, oh, you, can't how, read. Did, how did you learn all this stuff? You either consumed it on a video, or you listened to it, or you read it. So uh, give us your favorite resources. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so I'm saying, as anyone who does anything with any sort of Tech online, Stack Overflow is the place to be, you know. Okay. I have so many different spreadsheet questions that I need to figure out things, working with uh, Google Scripts, just writing things, just to have things more automated and process wise. I just type it. You have to know how to ask your question properly. I think that's the yeah. biggest thing. If you know how to Google your question correctly, just put in the main keyword. Don't, <laughs> don't get too that. technical with it. Don't put like, how yep. do I do this? Just like put in. You know, if you look up our formula, and, like they'll give you like that information over there. I've been using Google since you were in diapers, and I can tell you <laughs> that I'm a hell of a good Googler, but I can't write a, a chat GPT prompt to save my life. <laughs> All right, so last fun question. What's something that you purchased in the last 12 months, maybe you spent a little much on, maybe considered a splurge, but you definitely don't regret the purchase? Wow. So um, I think the most expensive purchase I recently got is I got married earlier this year. I think that was definitely a, yeah. <laughs> definitely not a splurge that I regret. Big fan. Um, so I got married. I love being here. married. <laughs> I, I love mine so much. I married her three times. You know? <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, we're going to do it four more times. <laughs> I'm so, on here hoping, hoping to be in it for the long term. But yeah, it's definitely yep. expensive. Well, I married the same one three times for fun. Oh, okay. You know, not, okay, we didn't okay. split up or anything. We just <laughs> <laughs> I have to I have to uh, you know further elaborate. Our second marriage was in Vegas. We were hanging out, and I was just like, "Dang, this show doesn't open for eleven hours. I'm on East Coast time. Or, I mean, till eleven o'clock. What do you want to do?" And I looked up, and I saw 
you know, little white wedding chapel. And I was like, you want to go get married again? She said, sure. So we got married again. That was more fun than the first one. And uh, we said, since our anniversary is 777, we said, we're going to get married seven times. So we've done it three times. Third time was on a sailboat in the Bahamas. So, you know, as long as I can keep her uh, barefoot, pregnant, and stupid, she'll keep marrying me, making the same mistake over and over. Seth, get us out of here, man. We're over the limit. David, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Is there any final message or, uh, uh, you know, word that you want to get out to our audience before we, uh, before we get out of here? And also, where should people find out more about you? Definitely. So just don't miss out on the, on the Walmart opportunity over here. You know, people missed out on Amazon, and they're right now struggling with that. Reach out now. Hit us up, David at Selcord.co. Visit our website, Selcord.co. You can even go to Selcord.com. It'll redirect you to Selcord.co. We recently got the domain, so that's been fun. Yeah, definitely. We have a myriad of tools. We got everything you need for Walmart.com on the one piece side, on the three piece side. Don't miss out. All right, Dan, and David's offering two hundred fifty dollars off your onboarding package when starting with at least five SKUs. So do yourself a favor, send David an email, David at or hit up his URL website, brand new one, cellcord.com. May you know what to do. Thanks, David. Thank you.